Hi, my name is Gary Nolan. I'm the Scientific Director of the Respiratory and Sleep Laboratories at the Townsville Hospital. We have a regular request in our labs from the paediatric medical teams to assess the lung function of some of their patients. One of them that they've referred this morning, Alan, is a 10-year-old boy with cystic fibrosis. This is a congenital condition that affects one in four children that are born to parents with, who are carriers of the CF gene. In Australia, cystic fibrosis is diagnosed at birth with newborn screening. Commonly, the dysfunction that occurs is a biochemical pathway that results with an increased quantity of secretions from the pancreas and the bronchi. This progressively reduces the function of both the digestive system, but also the lungs. The treatment for the digestive problems can now be very well managed. An increasing burdensome disease in Australia is COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Greater than 90% of COPD is a result of current or past smoking. It too compromises its airway function, increases secretions and causes some remodelling of the airways. But in addition to this, it also can change the number of and the efficiency of the alveoli that are used at the end of the airways to cause gas exchange. Both of these things will compromise quality of life. More complex studies are sometimes required to fully explain the degree of the breathlessness that the COPD patients experience. Sleep is an altered state of consciousness and there are many things physiologically that continue to happen during sleep but may happen in a different way to how they do when we are all awake. Sleep apnea is one of the problems that we currently can encounter on a frequent basis. It accounts for about 24% of middle-aged males and about 9% of middle-aged females. This diagnosis of sleep apnea or is achieved by making a sleep study. Sleep studies involve multiple sensors made across the brain and the cranium looking at the EEG, including EOG from the eye movement, EMG from chin contractions, and respiratory effort from thoracic and abdominal bands, oxygen levels from a SATS O2 monitor. Do you think clinical measurement scientists may be a career for you? Speak to one of our JCU biomedicine experts today.